There's three things you need for a great adventure. An electric unicycle, some super cool glasses, and an airplane. Let's go play. We just landed at Duluth's Sky Harbor Airport. It's a beautiful area, a little airport here on Minnesota's North Shore, right on Lake Superior. 50 degrees Fahrenheit today, and we're gonna give the King Song 16 Axe a test on the steepest hill in the state. It's steeper than the steepest hill at the local downhill ski slope, and we're gonna get a root beer. Let's go. flew up here for Gus's Dry Root Beer, the Blue Heron Trading Co. It's the best root beer you've ever had. It's delicious. It's only 98 calories. Let's go take it somewhere and drink it. We've arrived. The steepest hill in the state, 25.5% grade. All right, I'm gonna take the King Song 16X and go up there. I'm at about 70% battery and I'm just gonna give it a go. I feel like I'm gonna fall off the front and I haven't even started yet. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm on the tips of my toes, barely moving. If I had shin pads or something to make more torque, I think this would be easier. I just can't push enough torque into the front of it to really move up it. So this is a hundred foot climb in like half a city block. Go, I mean, it's doing it, it's not complaining. We're at the top. <laughs> that looks like a lot more work than on the unicycle. Well, there's your spectacular view down the hill we just climbed. If you look off to the left, there's that big lift bridge, and then that long, skinny strip of land beyond that is where the airport is. That's where we landed, and that's where we came from, riding the 16X up the steepest hill in the state. Holy smokes. Park, which is about a 10 mile ride from where we started at the airport down there. And we've done a little more than a thousand vertical feet climb with the King Song 16X on one of the steepest grades anywhere around at 25.5% grade. Now, I started at 90% battery. I'm at 70 right now. So I get to come up here, enjoy my Gus's dry root beer, tell you a little bit more about my favorite new wheel, the King Song 16X. Oh, that's so good. I put about 200 miles on the 16X before I did this video review. And I have over 500 miles on my Kingsong 18XL. That said, everyone wants to know which one's better. I'm gonna tell you, they are both absolutely phenomenal wheels. The 16X has a little bit wider wheel, three inch tire, which makes it a little better for off-road. The 18XL, a little bit bigger, which makes it a little better for high-speed cruising. Differences between the two, I think the sound audio quality on the 18XL is a little bit better than on the 16X but the speakers are still really nice. And those of you trying to decide between a Gotway and a King Song, I can tell you I absolutely love the speakers on all of King Songs, because anytime you're riding with people or through crowds, having a little bit of music on lets them know that you're there. That is important because the 16X is dead silent. This wheel makes no noise at all. Now, I've ridden a lot of wheels, and you think they're quiet, but you realize what a quiet a wheel really is when it really makes no sound. And then all the other ones sound whiny and buzzy and have this little thing in your ear that, that drives you nuts, especially when you're passing a building or something to reflect that sound. 16X is completely quiet. Other things I love, 1600 kilowatt hour battery, and that'll get you north of 70 mile range per charge. That's a long ways. It totally takes the range anxiety out of all of riding. Clocks in at 53 pounds and it tops out at 31 miles an hour. That is plenty fast. We hit a maximum speed of 24 miles an hour on the 10 mile ride up here from the airport. The handle is phenomenal. The headlight that's on there with the automatic high beams is super cool. It gives you a long range at night, kind of adjusts with speed and brightness on its own. New to the 16X, turn signals. So when you turn, you actually get an automatic blinker on the back, so anybody that's following you can see see which direction you're turning. Uh, that's kind of the little touches that King Song made that are really, uh, really quite nice on this. Additionally, it does have two USB ports, and while I sit up here and drink my root beer, I'm actually gonna recharge my phone, uh, the gimbal that it's sitting on now, right off those USB ports. Practical. We flew up to Duluth. We didn't have to deal with three hours of traffic. We had a 40 minute flight. 
We didn't have to deal with a taxi or an Uber or a Lyft. We rode, it's beautiful, enjoyed the fall colors. We tackled the steepest hills here. We rode a little bit off road. We're down here, one of the most spectacular views anywhere in the state. And it fits in your back seat. So get one of these for your airplane and you'll love the heck out of it, I promise. All right, we'll see you guys later.